Tiago Castro here and today I'm going to teach you how to make this transition using no objects. Let's go. To make this mosaic we will need 12 videos or photos, whichever you think is best. In my case, I've already imported my 12 videos here and now we're going to create a comp. Clicking on the comp icon we will envision here for 1080 by 1920. We can leave the frame rate at 30 and give OK. And now we select all our imported videos or photos and drag them to the timeline. Now let's start assembling our mosaic. The first image I'm going to drag here to the right side. It is important that it is well aligned with the image in the center. I will do the same now for the left side. Now we are going to repeat the same process, but pulling the videos up and down. Now we create the null object coming here in layer, new, new object. I'm going to rename this null to C master. With null selected, I will duplicate it three more times, holding the control key plus D. Now let's rename them to keep the organization. Call this center, left, right. It is important that these three layers are linked to C master. Now selecting the nude layer on the left. I'm going to click here and I'm going to drag it to the left corner. Do the same procedure for the right side. Now I select all the videos that are on the left side and link them to the controller on the left side. I repeat the same procedure on the right side. I select them all and link them to the controller on the right side. De fazer a mesma coisa agora com as I'm going to do the same thing now with the videos here at the center. I select all and link the center controller. Now here in Seamasters I'm going to set a keyframe in scale at 100%. I'm going to skip 30 frames and decrease it to 34%. Percent. That is, he will already zoom out. Now with the left and right null selected, let's mark a P for position, mark a keyframe, skip 30 frames and drag them up. We repeat the same process with the nodal center, however, we will drag it down. We go back to the Seamaster controller, copy the previous keyframe, Control c and Control v skip 30 frames and change the scale to 100% again. I select all the keyframes, I press the FN9 key to smooth it, I come here in the graphic editor, I select all the points and I go up to the VZ here with an influence of 60% for both sides. I'm going to activate the motion blur and that's it, our transition is done. 